Hello and welcome to my May TBR. I'm trying my best for there to not be a glare on my glasses, but there probably is just going to be. Today, we are doing my personality tests. My personality tests choose my TBR. So basically, I'm going to be going through like the main personality tests. Um, I'm doing Enneagram, Love Language, Myers-Briggs, and Zodiac. And now I don't really put too much stock in my personality tests. I believe in the Enneagram just because I feel like it's, it's super like personality based. I don't know, but I don't like, I don't put too much stock into it. I don't make like decisions based off of it. I just think, oh, like that's so true. I don't really relate with my, Zo my Zodiac sign that my The Myers-Briggs is just too like, too intelligent for me like it's too scientific and then love language I feel like is like less of a personality test but like is I don't know but anyway um we're gonna start with Enneagram I'm an Enneagram 4 I'm a four wing five to be specific Hi, Rainy here. I'm editing and I just have to say that I screen recorded this entire process on my laptop, but I deleted the screen recording somehow. So all I have are the screenshots of my end results. So sorry about that. And I'm just going to look up like Enneagram book recs for an Enneagram 4. So Enneagram 4, if you don't know about Enneagrams, the Enneagram 4 is like... Enneagram 4 is the individualist and it's very much about like creativity and like wanting to be unique, have like a, like a strong identity and very emotional. So let's see. And I'll look at a few. I'm going to try to do books that either I already have, <clears throat> excuse me, that I either already have or I can get on Kindle Unlimited because I do not need to be buying books. I'm I'm not on a book buying ban per se, but like I should kind of be ski puppy. Okay, first off, drink this matcha love. Um, but it says read this and one of them is normal people and I actually have normal people. So our first one on the TBR is normal people. I could see normal people because it's apparently very, very emotional, very like character driven, very, I don't know. And definitely see where that is recommendation. I'm trying so hard to not have this glare. I'm gonna put in Enneagram for romance recommendations because that's mostly what I have on my physical TBR anyway. It's so weird to me because like hardly any of these are recommending romance books. Um. And I feel like four is a very romantic type. Okay, I've looked in a few places for more rom romance <laughs> um, Enneagram four book recs, and I just can't seem to find them. They're all like, they're all very deep and dark and emotional and like digging into the soul. And I totally get that that's like that feels four to me, but I need some romance reads and some books that I already own, please. So we're going to go ahead and move on to love language. My love languages are physical touch and quality time. So maybe we can get one for each of those. I'm going to start again on Instagram. Romance books based on your love language. Perfect. These come from fictional Fira. Okay, quality time. I've read Wildfire. I haven't read the rest of them. I don't want to read Bad Reputation yet because I'm not done with the Addicted series. Okay, Physical Touch. We have Jasper Vale, Done and Dusted, Flawless, and Next to You. Okay. Okay, so Juniper Hill and Jasper Vale are both part of a series. I don't know if they're back to back in the series. I don't know which one's the first one, but they're both part of a series and they're both on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna start up that series. Where's my pen? Found it. Jasper Vale. It's a cute baby name, low key. Juniper Hill. Now I'm gonna do based off the Myers Briggs test. My Myers Briggs, again, I don't really understand the Myers Briggs. It's kind of over my head, but my Myers Briggs is 
INFP, which is Introvert Intuitive Feeling Perceiving. Is that correct? Anyway, let's see over on Instagram, Myers Briggs. INFP is the mediator, by the way. I could agree with that. Let's try this website. Maybe if I put MBTI instead of putting Myers Briggs, because here I found one. ISP. I keep, why do I keep forgetting what I am? INFP. Here we go. Leave it to Collider. We have which romance book should you read based on your, on your MBTI? Just like everything I was finding was a classic. And uh, I'm just not in the mood for a classic. INFP. Why do I keep forgetting? Okay, here we go. INFP. We have from Luke Off With Love, which I... it Okay, from Luke Off With Love is like a 4 point... I think I rated it a 4.25. Maybe a 4.75. But it's like an honorary five-star read for me. I love From Luke Off With Love. So this is looking promising. We have The Roommate. And we have A Thousand Boy Kisses. I think The Roommate is on my Goodreads TBR. And I think A Thousand Boy Kisses is on Kindle Unlimited. So hold up. A Thousand Boy Kisses is on Kindle Unlimited. So that is our next read. Last but not least, let's do Zodiac. The goal of this is, I guess, to see kind of if you can base your books off your personality types, but also I guess kind of like to see which one's the most accurate, which these are coming from different sources and different people, so they may have different opinions, but which I'm just curious to see how this goes. I'm a Sagittarius. Don't really know what that means. All I, all I know is that it's like the adventurous, spontaneous type, which I don't know if I super agree with that. Sagittarians are represented by the archer, good Taylor Swift song, and are always on the quest to gather as much knowledge as, as humanly possible. They're always looking for a new, for new adventures to saunter on, and it might be time for them to consider reading some love triangle or will they, won't they? Okay. See, I don't feel like, I already don't feel like this is accurate because, um, it suggests The Summer I Turned Pretty, and I liked The Summer I Turned Pretty. I watched the show first, which was probably a mistake, but I read the first book, and I was not crazy about it. I I think I rated it at three stars, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't think this is the one. We gotta keep looking. We have Getting Lost in the Pages. Am I an Earth sign? No. I'm a fire sign. What am I talking about? based on your Hogwarts house. Okay, this is not part of the video, but I'm just, I just want to know. I haven't even seen all the Harry Potter movies. I've never read the books. Sorry. Um, but I'm a Hufflepuff. Addicted to you. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Honestly, I think that's the only one I've read. I really wanted to read Seven Year Slip. Honestly, let's just throw that in there. Yep. We're just, we're just gonna throw it on the list. If we get to it, we get to it. If we don't, we don't. But I do have that physically. Okay. Anyway back to what I was actually doing. Okay, perfect. I have been wanting to read more Abby Jimenez after I read Just for the Summer. Um, and yours truly is also on my physical TBR, but I forgot I do have the friend zone. I got it, um, a um, blind date with a book, and this was it. That's perfect. And apparently Sagittarius are spontaneous, optimistic, and knowledgeable. Um, I have read Love in Other Words, I liked it okay. I loved people we meet on vacation. And I have I have final offer too. Let's do the friend zone. And if we have time, we'll put final offer as well. Okay. So that brings us to a close. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven book TBR. I doubt I'm gonna get to all these in just May. So I may have like a whole reading vlog that may come out. Depends on how long it takes me to read these, but once I finish reading all these, maybe I will put out a reading vlog and uh, show which ones, which ones the best, which ones I enjoyed. Uh, I have to remember which were based on what. 
Okay, so we have normal people from my Enneagram, which is four. We have Jasper Vale and Juniper Hill from my love languages, which are, oh, which one came from which? Jasper Vale, I'll watch it back, but I think Jasper Vale came from physical touch and Juniper Hill came from quality time. I think I mixed those up. You'll know, you'll know better than I will. A Thousand Boy Kisses came from my Myers-Briggs, which is an INFP. Um, the Seven Year Slip came from being a Hufflepuff. And the Friend Zone and the Final Offer came from being a Sagittarius. So that is my May TBR. We'll see what I get to. Uh, this is an ambitious TBR. Luckily, I got to the point where four of them are physical books that I actually own. So that would be nice. And then three of them are on Kindle Unlimited. So, um, I hope you guys had fun with this video. I had fun with this video. Uh, shout out to all the people that I got book recs from. This was fun. I'd be down to do this again in the future if this pans out. Again, like I said, um, I mean, you'll get an update probably in my May wrap up. But other than that, I probably will post like a big personality test reading, reading vlog probably like at the end of June or something, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, follow me on everything and I will see you later. Bye.